Hi, I'm David Gann again, CEO of Dean Wine Laboratories, the manufacturer of a product called Double Helix Water. If you saw the last video, you heard me mention that my research partner, Dr. Xu Yin Lo, uh, feels that the discovery of this particle that we found in water, which is water, is what the Chinese have been labeling as the material basis for meridians. And now that culture has been formulating uh, their form of medicine for several thousand years based around an electrical system on the body. And here in the West, we don't pay too much attention to that. You know, we say, ah, it's, it's not, can't be real. But if you've ever had, uh, if you've ever had acupuncture, you find out that, you know, uh, the use of these meridians can be quite miraculous. One could ask, why should we pay a lot of attention to what this guy Xu Yin Lo says? Well, actually, I pay a lot of attention to what Yin says. Yin came out of the University of Chicago in the 60s. He, he was part of the uh, theory group of uh, this man. And this man, his name is Nabu, who received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2008. And Interesting enough, Yen, Yen's roommate and old high school buddy, that they both came from Hong Kong to study physics, uh, it was this man, and that is Daniel Tu. And Daniel Tu also received the Nobel Prize in Physics, I believe in 1998. And here's Yen with another Nobel Prize winning physicist, and here he is back in China at the uh, first uh, conference on high energy physics. And that's the uh, uh, chairman of China there who invited him there. And there's another Nobel Prize winning physicist there. So when, when Yin, Yin comes up with an assumption, I normally listen to what he has to say. And his assumption is that this particle is the basis for the body's meridians. For thousands of years, the Chinese have said that the that these are electrical lines which are senior to all biological systems in the body and they carry a type of energy that they call qi. But we can just think of for a very, um, very simple ex explanation that these lines are carrying some type of energy or electrical current. And uh, in, your, in your body, every, in cells in your body, there's a little, little, little factory that makes energy. That factory is called the mitochondria. And what happens in that particular part of a cell is it manufactures energy. Now, how important is that energy to your body? Well, if that little thing stops and you don't produce energy, uh, your heart's not gonna beat. You're not gonna be able to breathe. Your muscles won't work. You'll basically be dead. So it's very important that you can produce energy. And there's a little molecule that's produced and sent throughout the body. It's called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And that molecule is what causes, uh, basically, it, it is the source of energy for all of, all of life, really. Uh, for animals, for us, for other life forms, that is a source of, of energy for us. And that energy Yin believes is carried on the lines called meridians, and he then believes that those meridians are made out of this phase of water. Because, you know, if you look at life started billions of years ago, it's not like it had around, set around and said, oh, we got this, we got that, and we got that. No, it had water to function with. And this phase of water, we, we believe, is the phase where it began, and we believe it's still terribly important for people to have. Thank you.